Hello, it's me again. It's a book I wrote a few years ago called The Giraffe with No Neck. I'm going to read you some of the book and I may finish it off another time or I may leave you to finish reading it yourself. It's still available from Amazon, so feel free to um, purchase a copy for your children, for your grandkids. Um, I'm very proud of it. Uh, I'm going to be working on other books and I'm also going to be doing short stories on here as well. So, The Giraffe with No Neck. I shall start. Little Charlie awoke with a big grin on his cute little face. Mummy, he shouted, I can't wait for today when we visit the zoo in town. Well, you will just have to be patient. It's still early and mummy has jobs to do in the house before we go. And your big sister isn't helping much, sat on her iPad playing games. I know, mum. I don't mind waiting. It will be too busy going early anyway. It's only the fourth week of opening. Thank you, Charlie, for being understanding. And now if I can finish all the little jobs before we go, then you can get all excited. Sally, are you going to help today? Mum shouted. There was no reply. Oh well, no visit to the zoo for you then, today. Mum muttered under her breath. Why? screeched a little voice in the distance from the other room. Oh, you did hear me then. Please help me, and the quicker we can get it tidy, the more time we can spend there. OK, Mum, I will just finish this game and I will be with you. Suddenly there was a big loud noise from upstairs. Oops, said Charlie. Sounds like Dad has woken up. Yes, I'm awake, little Charlie, said his dad. You're not going to the zoo without me. Remember, it's a family day out. We don't get much time together since I lost my job. Mum does all the work and she deserves it more, I think. At that point moment, Charlie jumped up and down, all excited and shouted, To the zoo, to the zoo, we go with all the family. Charlie was a good little lad who always loved mum, dad and his sister together, bless his soul. Most of his friends were either lived with mum or dad, but not together. Little Charlie had written 10.30 a.m. Saturday, June the 24th, 2017 in his calendar at his, and his school book, so he could remember to write about his trip to the new zoo. His smile was getting wider and wider across his face. It was 10.25 and mum and sister were still cleaning and tidying stuff away. Dad was putting on his coat, ready. And five minutes seems like hours. Right, shouted mum from the kitchen. Get ready, coats and everything you're taking with you. Camera, phone, notebooks and pads, etc. And please, little Charlie and Sally, I don't want any arguing in the car. Otherwise, there was a long silence. Both Charlie and Sally said together, we wouldn't be going anywhere apart from home again. Good said Dad. The new zoo had opened four weeks ago and most of the animals came from various other parks and wildlife places. It was a big place with picnic areas, children's rides, cafes and a shop that sold gifts. As they reached the entrance it was a slow drive in, bumper to bumper, cars with coach squeezed up the side. The looks on all their faces was of sheer excitement. Even Dad was looking like a Cheshire cat. They parked the car and walked up to the entrance to pay. 
It was a special price, £20 for a family of four. Mum looked at Dad as if to say, we can afford it and it's for the kids. But Dad was too busy looking at the people in front disappearing into the distance. Come on, come on, he said, let's go. They ventured into the zoo to see animals and creatures from all over the world. But Charlie had noticed something in the distance. Wow, he said in a loud squeaky voice. No one bothered to stop and listen to him. They were too busy looking at bright, colourful birds with large wingspans. Sally walked over to the giant snakes in a glass cage. She quickly walked back to Mum and Dad again with a turned up face of horror. Snakes are horrible things, she said. Mum and Dad were holding hands around the park, strolling in the sunshine, while Charlie and Sally wandered left and right, looking at orangutans and little monkeys being silly. Mum, Dad and Sally stopped suddenly and noticed Charlie was shaking his head vigorously. Are you okay? said Mum to Charlie. Yes, why mum, he said. You keep shaking your head and looking very puzzled. Oh, it's nothing. I think I've seen something that's not quite right. Perhaps you are still tired, son, said dad. It was late night and you are full of excitement for today. They all just, just continued their way around the park. The elephants were being washed with a giant hose and then spraying each other. Even the baby elephants seemed to like getting soaked. They all laughed at the fun they were having. Next was the gorillas. He was rolling around, banging his shoulders, head and belly with his long arms and hiding behind a coat that he had found. How funny, Sally said to Dad. They are so lovely and look so cuddly. Look like they would like love a big cuddle, but I know they wouldn't. Squeeze softly, she giggled. Are you okay, Charlie? said Dad. Come over here and look at the big ape, son. He's funny. They watched the antics he was getting up to for about ten minutes. Right, time to find a sunny place to sit and eat, said Mum. The ray shouted the other two, three. Mum had made some lovely crusty rolls. There was cheese and pickle and jam. For Charlie, corned beef and tomato sauce, as it was his favourite, there was a flask of tea for Mum and Dad and two soft drinks for Sally and Charlie. What and where shall we venture to now? said Dad. Lions and giraffes, yelled both children. Hang on, hang on, said Mum. One at a time, please. Charlie, Sally shouted, lions, and off they went, still eating the remains of their chocolate bar. Mum, will we be going to see the giraffes today, said Charlie. Yes, all in good time. Charlie's little face lit up again. That's part of the story. I may finish it in story form on here. Or maybe you could purchase a copy of the book from Amazon. Thank you for listening.